Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Jessica Porter with the latest from Denver 7. Is our health care system really so broken that we need to rely on Canada? But plenty would say yes. Others would say who cares as long as we can actually afford our prescriptions. Right now, lawmakers are considering letting Colorado import medication from our northern neighbors. Denver 7's Megan Lopez shows us what that means for you. This version from Canada costs $50. In a packed room across the street from the Capitol, a group of lawmakers listen to the testimony of people who say they're paying too much for their medications. This one is $350 U.S. The committee is debating Senate Bill 5, known as the Colorado Wholesale Importation of Prescription Drugs Act. This is, was a common sense solution. It would set up a path for Colorado to import name brand prescription medications from Canada. Such as Abilify, which is uh, a psychiatric medication. And in the United States, it's about $30 uh, per pill. And then in um, in Canada, it's $7.54. The bill's co-sponsors say it could save patients. Anywhere from 25 to 75 percent discounted prices in Canada. Because the cost of prescription drugs keeps going up. In the beginning, it was fairly reasonable. Something retired pharmacist Ruth Parker watched happen over her 40-year tenure. And then the co-pays started shifting. Ruth says she knows patients who couldn't afford their prescriptions, so... They'll take a lower dose of insulin to make it last longer, or they'll skip doses of the inhaler. She she sees this as a medically moral solution, but others say there's downsides. The United States is the gold standard when it comes to regulating the safety of our drug supply chain. Opening up that supply chain would compromise the safety and expose patients to counterfeit or unapproved drugs that will lack oversight by the health authority. Even if the bill passes, though, don't expect to see your medications come from Canada overnight. It would likely take years of studies, work, and federal scrutiny before becoming a reality. At the state capitol, Megan Lopez, Denver 7. We should note by tomorrow if magic mushrooms will be on Denver's May ballot. If enough signatures are shown to be legitimate, Denver voters will be asked if they want to decriminalize psychedelic mushrooms. This is not legalization. You still couldn't legally buy the drugs here, but being caught with them wouldn't bring a severe punishment. We recently went 360 on this issue, and you can watch it right now at the DenverChannel.com. In case you weren't up until midnight to see the decision finally came down, a plan to dramatically expand sex education in schools is moving through the legislature. It took 10 hours of testimony before lawmakers were finally able to bring the bill up for a committee vote. Seven voted yes, four no. It now moves to another committee where it is guaranteed to see just as passionate a response. The bill itself doesn't mandate sex education in schools, but it does change the standards if a district decides to teach it. Those standards involve safety, consent, and LGBTQ inclusion. The teachers union in Denver Public Schools are meeting right now in hopes of averting a strike. It is a full house as the district brings forth a new offer. DPS says that deal builds on its previous plan to raise base salary by 10%. Exactly what that entails is not being released right now. In the meantime, Governor Polis still hasn't said if he plans to intervene in negotiations. Depending on his decision and what happens tonight, walkouts could begin in a matter of days or be pushed back months. Former Congressman Mike Kaufman has his sights set on the Aurora's mayor's office. A native of the city, Kaufman got the paperwork today to become a candidate for mayor. That election will be held in November. The DMV has been an absolute disaster today. All services online and in office were down statewide for four hours today. Technical issues have plagued the department for months following a software update that was supposed to make life easier for employees and customers. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here is a look at your forecast. Friday, 53 degrees, but take a look at Saturday, 60, 57 Sunday, and 48 by Monday. Well, this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later tonight for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jessica Porter.